Hi everyone! So a few weeks ago I dug up my paint markers, the Poskas and the Pilot Pinter pens, and I just had so much fun working on paint marker art again, and you guys really seem to enjoy it too. If you haven't seen the video, I will leave a link to it here somewhere. There there, there, maybe. Something that I'd be wanting to try out is using the pens on canvas, because using paint markers on paper, the rougher nib and the paint, it kind of tends to tear the paper, and it makes these little paper crumbs that stick to the paint and the pen nib. No thank you. Canvas is a little more sturdy, hopefully, and when I went to a dollar store a little while ago, I picked up this square black canvas, which doesn't really fit on camera so I just brought you into this black void and I really hope that the black background will give an interesting effect to the art we will see. Paint markers are opaque so they should be working pretty well on this dark background. It is a really cheap canvas so I thought it would be perfect to practice on and also it is square. I've really been enjoying working in a square format lately. So I just think it makes interesting art. I am a little intimidated though because it is a a pretty big surface to fill in but thankfully I have these thicker sized paint markers too so hopefully it won't be that time consuming. But yeah I'm really excited to get started so let's go! Also, I'm on Patreon and I have a Redbubble store where I sell my art as merch, so feel free to check that out. Your support really helps me out, so thank you. Alright, end of self-promotion. Also, if you enjoy this type of content, feel free to leave a like and a comment and also subscribe to my channel. Alright, I'm done. I wanted to make something really pastel-y, colorful, and something nature-inspired, of course, and a cat, what else? I also wanted to try a more stylized style. You can actually blend the paint markers, it is paint, so the colors will mix when they're wet, but I like the more solid, flat colors that you can also get, so I want to play around with that. And it always helps me to make a sketch before I start, just to plan out the colors and the composition, especially when working on a larger piece like this, it really helps to have a guide to follow. I added a grid to the digital sketch and then I added the same grid to the canvas and then I could very easily just map out and transfer the sketch and I know it isn't a very complicated sketch or anything but I like the balance and I wanted to keep that and of course Phoenix is here helping me keeping an eye on things as usual. And since this is a stretched canvas on a frame and I will keep it laying flat on my desk, I put a little support underneath to hold up the canvas itself so that it isn't bouncing or moving around too much when drawing on it. So as I mentioned before, this is kind of like a practice piece, in the meaning that this is all new to me, I haven't painted with paint markers on canvas before, but even if this is practice, I still treat it like real actual art, I'm still putting all my effort into this. And I had this idea how I wanted this to look with a lot of different layers and color blocking, but I was also making things up as I was going. I discovered very early when I was making the sky that leaving the canvas showing through between the different blocks of colors, it kind of worked as outlines, and I left little gaps here and there in the paint. It gives it almost like a screen print kind of look or stained glass almost. Most. And that was all by coincidence, it wasn't a style that I was planning to do, it just happened and I liked it, so I kept that going for the rest of the painting. And to be honest, it makes a lot more sense leaving the black of the canvas showing through, or else I could have just have painted on a regular white background. Also, how satisfying isn't it seeing the colors pop on this dark surface, it looks so good. And even if these paint markers are opaque, it still took a few coats to cover the dark background, especially with the lighter colors. I think I added like five layers of white, 
and I'm very happy that I had these paint markers with larger nibs or else this would have taken me forever. It did also help that I didn't want it solid layers of paint, I kinda wanted them to look a little splotchy, you know, so I didn't have to make perfect solid layers. I also noticed that the drying time of the paint, it is a lot slower on canvas than on paper, but someone actually mentioned on my previous paint marker video that they used a hairdryer to dry the paint quicker, so I tried that myself and it really turned out out to be a lifesaver, or a time saver at least. Now I didn't have to worry about smudging the wet paint or wait for the paint to dry. I did still put my hands and arms in the wet paint anyway, but I just need to be messy when doing art, that is just how I am. Let me know, are any of you guys messy artists like I am, or do you keep things and yourself clean the whole time during the process? I don't get how you do it. But yeah, I had so much fun with this painting, I had to actually force myself to take breaks sometimes to not overwork myself. It is definitely the most fun that I've had with art in a long time, it is something new, it is refreshing, for me anyway. I don't know, I was just having a good time. So now that we talked about how much fun I had with the art, let's talk about how much I struggled with the art. No, not really, I didn't struggle a lot, but I did have a little problem with the flowers. I had to repaint a few of them several times. Good thing that the paint markers are opaque, so they are very easy to cover up with. And as I mentioned several times now, I'm going for a stylized look, and I haven't really drawn stylized flowers before, not a whole lot anyway. So I was struggling with how I wanted to paint them. Some some of them I think turned out really great, some of them not so much. The blue flowers are not my favorite and next time I would do some different shapes than just the ovals. But again, I'm doing it for practicing with paint markers, I'm not doing it for perfection. I'm definitely learning a lot from doing this piece though and I already have some ideas and plans for the next painting. I actually have another black canvas so I might try this again. So yeah, the flowers definitely gave me a challenge, it took the most time to make, and I think what made it a little weird too was that in my initial sketch I just made little blob flowers, but when resizing it to a larger format the small little blobs will not be so small anymore, and I had to put a lot more details into them to match the rest of the style of the painting, I wanted to keep it cohesive, but I had a lot of fun adding all the little leaves and blades of grass poking up between the flowers though and I really love how it looks. Again, painting with these markers is so satisfying because they are so opaque and it just draws over painted areas super easily. I mean that is just how acrylic paint works but I don't know, it is still satisfying to see. And for once I'm actually painting a black kitty, I thought it would be fitting to keep it the color as the canvas. It also stands out a little more in all the pastel colors, but I'm still going over it a few times with black paint just to get rid of the sketch lines underneath and to give it the same matte texture look as the rest of the painting, because these paint markers dries matte. And I actually like that the cat is a little less detailed than the rest of the painting, it gives you something to rest your eyes on in this very, very busy painting. It adds a little bit of balance. And let me know if you would like to see more of this, more paint marker art on canvas, wood, paper, you name it, let me know. and finishing it up by painting the sides of the canvas with matte acrylic. It is a super cheap canvas, so it had some scratches on it, I don't know, it just looked a little rough, but adding the paint cleaned it up a bit and it made it look a little more neat. Yeah, 
here it is out in the sunshine. I love how this turned out and I love how much I enjoyed making it. Such a fun little project and I hope you guys like it too and that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!